stay there. So I don't have a lot of time before it's gonna get dark, but I wanted to share some of my thoughts with you as I share some of this beautiful nature. There are these two guys here. They were just playing with their swords. Anyway, um, so, just so you know, we stayed home, I think for an entire solid month at least. Um, now we're required to wear masks when we go into any store, which we are complying with. Um, however, uh, not loving it. And I gotta say, you all, if you are arguing for wearing masks, you might be missing out on some uh, key revelations. And one of them is go out wearing your mask and just observe what the others are doing. Notice how often they're touching their face right here. They're adjusting it. They're moving it. They can't breathe. They put it underneath their nose. And what do you think happens every time they do that? Super concentrated germs here, by the way, because you're breathing them in and out. And it's proven that the virus is such a small micron size that these masks aren't keeping them in or out. And um, you know what? Just go ahead and argue with me if you want. Go ahead and leave me your links. I'm open to it. I'm not gonna dis the, you know, disparage you, and call you names or shame you. Like so many people do on my posts daily, which I just block and delete. I don't really care anymore. Um, because here's the thing. If you take a minute to just observe what the general population is doing when they are wearing their masks, you will see that wearing a mask does nothing for anyone. It doesn't. Why? Because they're constantly touching the mask. They're touching their nose. They're moving it down below their nose so they can get more oxygen. People are getting headaches. Um, you know, they can't, they feel like they can't breathe, which makes sense. Uh, and here's the thing, if you are staying at home, you're simply lowering your immune system uh, due to higher cortisol levels because you're feeling more stress and more fear. And when you're feeling more stress and fear and you have higher cortisol levels, it actually lowers your immune system's ability to fight infection. And here's the other piece. Your body is full of bacteria and viruses and you're always exposed to them. You're constantly fighting them off, you're, you're stimulating an immune response, and if you're just staying at home and you're not exposing yourself to bacteria and viruses, you're going to have a lowered immunity. Then when you leave your house, guess what's gonna happen? Yes, you'll be exposed to more bacteria and viruses and be more susceptible as a result of having stayed home and being vitamin D deficient because you're not out in the sun and getting the fresh air. So how do we combat this? Well. We've got to be vocal about it because the mainstream media is against us. Why? Call me a conspiracy theory. Again, I don't care what your opinion is, but I'm just laying this out there for those of you who want to listen. And I spend a lot of my time researching and you know that due to the chronic illness I've faced, I have educated myself a great deal on the immune system in the body. And thank you for the heart, Sarah. I love it. Thank you for showing up tonight. Um, I'm hoping I can get all my thoughts out before the sun sets here, or I guess it is set. I'm gonna show you the view here. Anyway, my point is, I want you guys outside, getting sun, getting fresh air, grounding. That means barefoot, right? Even if you're just at home and you can put your feet on in the grass in your lawn. You got to ground, okay? Get yourself out there. Get exposed to natural viruses and bacteria in your environment. Gary, I'm glad to see you on here because I don't know if I tagged you today, but you all, there is a really cool event happening this weekend. I'm going to just um, share, I'll share a link with you all in the, the video here. Um, afterwards but basically it's by Dr. Batar who we all know everyone is trying to discredit because he's speaking out against the mainstream media ah you guys I am so freaking fed up with them trying to determine what is right for my body and what is right for your body in terms of your health and I'm fed up with them trying to control what your how your doctor wants to treat you 
It's ridiculous. And it comes down to pharma and insurance. Guaranteed, follow the money every single time. So Gary, back to you. Um, if any of you are in a the police force or any law enforcement or in the military, this weekend, Dr. Batar is hosting a an event where he's gonna connect the dots for you on the science and he's gonna speak to you about the civil liberties and rights of people. And he's going to share with you why the wool is being pulled over our faces, you all. Pulled over. Think about it. And I'm gonna point out democratic states because I'm seeing a trend here and comment below if you agree. Are you seeing this trend, at least in your state or elsewhere in the news, I don't know. Um, but the trend is they inflate the numbers, they're trying to make it look worse than it is. They're trying to really scare their population. They're, they're enforcing, their police are arresting people for not wearing a mask. I mean, arresting when we're not even considering the science. I'm livid. I, are you livid? I'm pissed. Like, this is getting really out of control and out of hand. The other piece that I'm really pissed about is that the, the doctors that have had the strength to speak out and share what's working for them and to also uh, question the numbers because did you all know this? A PCR test is a test where they are um, increasing the numbers of, of the virus, the DNA in the blood that they take or, oh gosh, now I'm gonna mess it up. PCR test, just do your research, but it has something to do with they increase the numbers until they get up positive, but they can change what the threshold is and change the numbers to fit their agenda. This is an issue, you all. This is a problem. We shut down the country. We have 40 million people right now on public assistance and unemployment. We have employers saying they can't get their employees to come back to work because they say, no, I'm getting more from an unemployment check. Why would I come back to work? I mean, I mean, come on. And I have never been too political. You know this, you've seen me. I haven't, I haven't said too much until recently. These recent weeks, you all have pushed me over the flipping edge. And if this is hitting home for you, click the share button and tag people. We need to spread the word on this. We need people paying attention. And I'm gonna share the link again to the, that um, symposium that is this weekend. And again, it is for, it's gonna be a scientific perspective from doctors who are speaking out. They are bold and they are brave and they may lose their jobs. And they're speaking to law enforcement and military, those who are enforcing the laws, those who are willing to stand up and defend the constitutional rights of our citizens because you all, that is a non-negotiable. It is a constitution. Do you know each and every amendment? I don't know you all, but every we've gone through every single amendment. Each day we go through a new amendment with our kids during homeschool. And if you're not doing that yet as a homeschool parent, ugh. I'll tell, I guarantee you they're not teaching you that at, at their schools right now because obviously they're not in school. So why not take the time now to learn this? Anyway, I am encouraging you all to learn about the immune system. A virus requires immune modulation, okay? So think about this. 60% of Americans do not receive a flu vaccine. We know they do not get the strain correct every year because it mutates. Hello. Now here's the other piece. It's a, this coronavirus is an RNA virus created by man. I'm gonna say it, I'm just gonna say it. Everything that I've learned points towards that. And yeah, it pisses me off. Crimes against humanity are happening here. Crimes against humanity. And media is spinning it to try and scare you. And they're stealing your rights right from under your noses. And if you're not learning about the body and the immune system and biology and ah, uh, you guys, you gotta strengthen the immune system. You've gotta look for the solutions in terms of immune modulation. And here's the other piece that's gonna be hard for you to grasp if you have been uh, influenced by Western medicine and the mainstream media, that when you are looking for natural solutions, guess what? Snopes, which is bullshit. Snopes is gonna tell you that it's, what do they call it when they talk about their they're fact checkers or whatever they're called. You guys, Snopes is BS. It's, it's just BS, bought and paid for. Um, these fact checker websites, they're B freaking S. Like, I could go on and on and connect so many dots for you right now. Um, but I really encourage you guys to do your own research and study and get pissed. Don't be complacent. Don't be shy about speaking out. Let people rain down on you and swear at you and shame you and whatever these people do that I call them 
they're just not awake. They're just, they're just following, right? We need leadership right now. We need people that are pissed to wake up and share how they feel. We need you speaking out because you're gonna get censored by Facebook. You're gonna get censored on YouTube. You guys, I have, you, I have videos deleted daily. Um, we need you speaking out on Instagram, all the platforms, speaking out. Don't be shy. Because the problem is if we all sit back and we think someone else is gonna do this, guess what? No, because we're at war. This is a digital war right now. Your rights are being stolen. I, and I, I don't know if you can even hear me, I'm speaking loud, but the waves are crashing and the sun is setting and I just hope this message comes across because I'm, I'm just fired up and I'm pissed off. <laughs> and I feel like we need to be speaking out. And yes, one of the number one things that I think needs to happen in our government is to end term limits and to end lobbyists because those two things right there, right there, are damaging the future of this country. They are because they don't have the people's hearts in mind when they are making and passing laws, do they? I mean, it's ridiculous. I, I wanna see in the comments, who's fed up? What are you mad about? Uh, have you found some piece of news that I haven't touched on yet? Please comment, let me know. Uh, share this message if you can, if it, was, if it touched you at all. Tag people if you can. Let me know how things are. Is your state open? Is your state closed? Is your county open? Is your county closed? As I can't tell you how ridiculous it is that we have states, and I'm in Hawaii, and 700 some prisoners, murderers, and sex offenders have been released so that they can arrest citizens that do not have a mask on. You guys, this is ridiculous. Okay, I hope you guys are well, and I hope you stay uh, hopeful. You know, turn off social media when it, you, you get fed up by it, and then come back and go at it again, and we gotta, we gotta unite our laptop warriors, because like I said, this is a digital war and all of us are part of it. All right, I love you all. I'll show you that view. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> That's Drew. If any of you are metal smiths, go follow my son Drew Leininger on YouTube and Instagram because he does metal smithing giveaways for knives. Yay. <laughs> Love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Please catch the replay. If you are here with me live, please comment live. If you catch the replay and watch it all the way to the end, please leave a comment. And we love you. Bye. <laughs>